Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's main focus is on the concept of the Boeing 797 and the details around it. So here is what we know. At the moment, the rumoured name is 797, however, this may change. Currently, it is just a paper concept being developed into a more realistic plan. But would this aircraft really work? Well, here are some images of the current thoughts, evidently being based off a Boeing 737 and a 787. Serving so the middle of the market, it is thought that up to 260 passengers will be seated in a one class configuration and as many as 225 in a typical two class. So based on capacity, we can expect size to be somewhere between a 737-9 and a 787-8. We still do not know if this will be a wide body or a long single aisle aircraft. However, would there really be a demand for this aircraft? Airbus claims that their all new Airbus A321 ACF, Airbus Cabin Flex, can do everything this concept might. However, Boeing argues that extended range, fuel efficiency and potential customers could make this one successful aircraft. Furthermore, Boeing estimates over 4,500 orders and many customers that are already showing interest. Some of these potential customers are likely to be United, Delta and American Airlines. What they all have in common is that they are looking for new, modern aircraft to replace their aging 757s. Boeing does not only look to replace these aircraft, but to open up a new market for aviation and to compete with Airbus. As far as the actual construction of the aircraft, hints are being thrown that the fuselage will be made of a mix of composite and metallic materials to achieve maximum fuel efficiency and strength. The range of this aircraft was announced to fit within roughly 5,200 nautical miles, about equivalent to a flight from Moscow to New York, Boeing states. So where is the market? Well, judging by facts we already know now, its main aim is to relieve congestion on busy, short routes and to open up a new market of medium haul, medium range flying. It is also set to replace the Boeing 757s which I've already mentioned. Personally, I see this aircraft being successful in the domestic Chinese routes along with intercontinental routes within Australia and New Zealand. Another big possibility is the highly competitive transatlantic flights between Europe and North America. So to conclude my review, we could potentially see a new middle of the market aircraft flying in our skies in the mid to late 2020s if the right conditions are met and this aircraft would still be a viable option for the market. It is certainly interesting to explore these ideas even at such an early stage of planning. For more videos just like this one, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to make sure you'll catch my next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.